Hey puppy! Hold that shot. Hey mate! Hi! Don't you just want to pat it and cuddle it and thank you? Off the road, mate. These are healthy looking dingo too. First dingo in Kakadu. It's actually a real healthy looking dingo. The ones we've seen are elsewhere, they're like little skinny. But they are natural, like their physiques are supposed yeah. to be quite like scrawny. It's chasers, it's literally chasers. Lately, I reckon he's a little pup. One kilometer, turn right onto Jabiru Drive. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he still chasing you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's about five o'clock in the afternoon and we've just rocked up to our accommodation for tonight it's in Jabiru and it's a Kakadu Lodge $36 for the night for both of us unpowered site nice grassy sites um, it's kind of like subtropical uh, I have been here before and I, we really liked it I really like it so um, in that direction you've got a pretty cool swimming pool also with a restaurant as well or like a pub they do um it's only it's only like a small menu but the meals there are just superb so um yeah i think we've set up camp go have a bit of a swim a couple of a couple of frothies at the uh the little bar there and uh yeah we'll have an early night so first night kakadu timber bloody tray on it. Have a look at the back oh, of the yeah, ute. Cool. That's mint. Oh, cool. I think it's a girl. Um, just at the uh, Jabiru service station, uh, top up of diesel. Um, Jabiru is like the main, I think it's like the biggest town. And the, uh, the price we're paying for diesel is $2.20. So Darwin's like $1.95 at the moment. Not too bad. We're in the heart of Kakadu and we're paying $2.20. So yeah, we've just started with Jabiru and we're just cruising around, just sussing out some sites. This is a campsite. Um, it's meant to be tents only, but it's on a it's on a lagoon and there's this like danger crocodile signs everywhere. So I should actually turn the car off because that's a bit silly. <laughs> um, let's have a little look at this lagoon. Crocodilia. Huh? Twice. See? There'll be um, little freshwater crocs in here too, I think. What's that for today? You're just kidding. The movement in the water. It's stunning, isn't it? Like, definitely stuff happening pretty cool so rachel um keeps telling me to watch out for snakes because she actually cared for a patient the other day yeah she got bit by a um a snake and she got care flighted out to um to us at 
um, Royal Darwin ED. So from Kakadu. Anyway, from Kakadu. So I'm like, oh, snakes. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful campgrounds. Look at that. Picnic tables, there's toilets, fire pits, tents only. So um, anyway, let's hit the road. So what we're doing is um, we're just driving um, with the HEMA map open and we're just picking, picking out random um, spots and attractions on the map to check out. Um, we haven't really done much research and stuff. We just like to, well, on this trip, we're just kind of making it up as we go along. But, but I um, guess because we're so close, like it's two and a half hours from Darwin. And so because we're living there, it's easy yeah, to- Yeah, so this won't be the only- it won't be the only time we come to Kakadu, we'll come here several times. Um, we've got about, we've got a little walk coming up and we're just going to go check out some, um, not that one, <laughs> 1.5, we're going to go look at some um, Aboriginal art. Oh. So pretty much um, the information we've been provided is that yeah, the Aboriginals will camp here. They've been camping here thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Tens of thousands of years. So I'll chill out these little caves for a few days. I'll camp out. I'll hunt, hunt their food. And they also um, seek shelter from like the big thunderstorms and stuff. So <clears throat> it's pretty cool. The person? Yeah. There's a kangaroo there. Yeah. There's something down there. Awesome little cave there. You jump in those little things and it's just like the temperature just drops instantly. It's just beautiful under there. Out here it's sweat and bollocks. Awesome little canyon. Oh wow. Look at this. Rachel. This is incredible. Massive counter levered rock. And it's just been wedged up by that rock over there and by here. More art. This is incredible. And get Rachel's reaction. It's nice in here. <laughs> Good is it? The temperature just drops instantly. How's it like this rock? This big rock here is just being wedged up by that rock over there, straight in front of you. And that one over there. I would hang out here for a couple of days. You've got this massive like jungle vine connected from the roof of this cave down to the ground here. But they've chopped it for whatever reason, I don't know why. I thought it would act like a prop. It's holding the bloody roof up, isn't it? How, and how cool is that tree right there? So you've got a natural spring drop in here and then you've just got this awesome tree just growing as well. There's a random tree under this cave. Just head up, heads up guys, there's um, plenty of them around. Holy jamoli, Batman. So big. Creepy. Beautiful, but also creepy. Just waiting for him to jump straight on me. I know. <laughs> You're kind of making me nervous there. So we just come to this little lookout and we're starting to get a bit of a little bit of air con. Drying all that sweat. Holy moly, have a look at that. It's extremely hot. As always. But this is definitely uh giving us a bit of airflow. 
IG. So another thing we've just noticed as well, there's no flies. Not one blowfly. But at night time, the mozzies and the midgel, the mozzies and the midges are insane. So no flies, but there's mozzies. Been a dingo. Yeah, so we've just come back to our um, troopy and something's just gone stastic through our rubbish. That is definitely, that would have to be a dingo. Who's been drinking froffies? Yeah. Is that you, Smithy? Yeah. Oh. That is um, heaps and heaps of dingoes in this area. Um, we just heard heaps of them just howling last night, and we've also seen a few. So we'll quickly clean this up, and uh, we'll get back on the road. So there's a good little lesson for you. Make sure your uh, your bin bags done up properly. Oh. Babe, I need a pee. Wow! How cute is he? Hey, Amy! What are you doing? What are you doing there, mate? Oh, we better let you be. It's Kermit the Frog, you mean? I reckon we should put him in the sink. It's a bit. Nah, it's a bit on. Um, leave him. That's that, that he chose that spot. Bit uh, unhygienic. Kermit. Oh. No, I'll try next door. Oh my god, there's a sprinkler. <laughs> oh, mama. So yeah, we're just um we're still cruising around Kakadu National Park. We've got no no real art plan. We're just um checking out all the sites. But in saying that a lot of sites are closed. It is a dry season at the moment. So it is um it is a little bit surprising to see that so many things are closed obviously due to the water levels um, blocking off roads and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we probably should have done a little bit of research online um, to have a look at what was open and what was closed. But um, that's all good. There's still plenty for us to check out. Um, but the main sort of attractions like um, Jim Jim Falls is closed. Um, Jim Jim Billabong, which is a, a campsite that we're hoping to um, camp at tonight, that's also closed. But that's all cool. We're just, um, just cruising around. We're at a beautiful campsite right now. Um, that we've come to check out, go to the toilet here, that's where we saw little Kermy. Uh, there's a billabong down now, I just flicked a couple of lures, no luck there. But um, yeah, the water levels are really high in all the waterways. Um, there's water over roads, there's a bit going on. So um, it is the dry season, but it's the very beginning of the dry season. Yeah, but I'm crawling. Dude, that looks sick. It does look sick. Um, yeah, it's nice and shady here. We'll pull up, have a bit of lunch. What a camping spot, eh? Yeah, it does this is a cracking spot. It's a billabong. Rachel agrees, it's a cracker. Oh, there's like a chicken. There's something that's been eaten there. Dude. Alright, we're gonna be quiet. Crock hunt. Sorry about my camera skills. Just be careful of the wild buffalo as well. Yeah. The sign saying up. Yeah, be careful of the buffalo and horses. Oh, Shh, babe! Yeah. You can't talk, babe. Yeah, that's a crocodile. Where's that barra? I have one car as quickly. Yeah. Alright, so Rachel's allowed us one cast and one cast only. Oh, Crocodiles. There's like scales and stuff everywhere, so people have been catching barra here.
was that? Um, I think it was just a tartar. I want to move But be careful. It's a little bit cooler here too, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Last cast and then we'll cook some lunch. Watch yourself a bit. Oh. Okay. Cook some lunch. Have a bit of grab. I'll wash my cup. My cup's a bit dirty. Keep those uh, hydro lights up. Hydro lights? Electrolytes? Electrolytes. <laughs> Bit of coconut us waters. A few bucks on ham, bag of wraps. A few other little bits and pieces. You can make them in five minutes. Rachel makes them better than me, but I'm playing house husband because Rachel's just come off a night shift. <laughs> Look at that. Husband. That looks beautiful. My what lady. Are you, you're doubting yourself. That's a good one. My That's one. A good one. Yeah, I flicked that one. It's an awesome little spot. Lots of shade here. Just put up, someone's had a fire over there, but also big giant scales here indicates big bear has been caught, and then something's been just yeah, something something's been attacked. Could be um, <coughs> could be dingoes. There's a croc hunting going. I'm still waiting to see one. I just uh, thought I'll show you guys this quickly. So we're at the, um, the end of April. So we're right at the end of April and um, we're just constantly finding that um, everything's still closed. So this place is called Barramundi Gorge. It's going to be a, a pretty cool camping ground. Um, and yeah, we're just coming across them more and more often. So it's a bit of a shame. Um, like I said, we probably should have done a little bit more research. There's still plenty for us to see and do. But we like going off the beaten track a little bit. This is a four-wheel drive track. Um, and uh, yeah, it's on a bit of a river or a gorge apparently. So um, all, the, all the spots that we're kind of interested in, they just seem to be closed because you've got to go through a bit of a track and that. But um, yeah, anyway, just something to look into if you are coming up this way the same time of year.